I met a man who promised to take care of me, who promised me a better life, and I decided to take my chances. I really hope you understand. Dad? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I'm fine. Why don't you, um, why don't you, uh, take your sister over to the table and find a spot? I'll, uh, I'll bring the food over there. Is mom okay? Yeah, she's, um, she's fine. Why isn't she home? It's not like her. Well, um, she had something to do. But, um, uh, I'm here for you, okay? I love you. I mean, I, I, I get it. I know we've had some, some difficult times, and you have hurt me. But you didn't only hurt me this time. You hurt your two little girls. I hope you're happy. You really want to leave right now. If you want to stay safe, you're going to have to do what everybody else does. Stay in this room, locked here. And by everybody, I mean me. I don't want to just survive. I want to leave. Well, if you go out that door, you won't be around anymore. We can't just give up. I won't just give up. Yeah, well, some things you don't have an option on. And what exactly does that mean? Huh? H have I ever asked you to do anything for free? You get paid, right? In my day, cutting hair was, was more of a hobby. It wasn't really a manly job. We had to work with our hands every day. My father did it, his father did it, and my sons will do it. Do you see that sign? It says Mike and sons. And sons! Sam, what is your issue with steady work, huh? I could easily hire someone to take your place. But I need my sons to be here whenever I'm not around anymore. Dang it, Sam! Why do you have to be so ungrateful? Some fathers don't equip their sons with the skills and the tools that I have given to you and your brother. I taught you to build with your hands. That is something no one can take from you. I'm not just cutting hair. I'm touching lives. And how exactly are you doing that, son? Hey, son. I was wrong for trying to keep you from being the man that you wanted to be. The last thing I want is for you to stop chasing your dreams, especially whenever they're doing so well for the community. I ain't doing nothing, man! I'm freaking off! I'm not doing nothing! No! I am sorry. I am ashamed. I am ashamed how I treated you, how I've lived. I deserve everything that you want to do to me. I have been indoctrinated to treat you. And to think that you are, that you are less than me. Tell me, tell me how I can be better. Tell me how I can be a better person. How I can be a better man. Keith, I am sorry. I want change. I want to lead and live a better life. I, I want to forgive you. I, I do. She needs a higher dose. She's not taking her pills. She's not acting right. <clears throat> I want my family back. Oh, 
I'm so <laughs> stupid. What? Busy. Oh, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Gentlemen. Good morning. You ruined a perfectly good chance. That was a perfect opportunity. Children. Look. You became a tutor because of the man I raised you to be. Which is a selfless man, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. I do not see a failure. Therefore, I did not raise a failure. Sir? You didn't fail. You may have lost a battle to this, this institution, but it doesn't have any relevance or, or determination on where you go or what you become in life. Look, son. I love you. Nothing's gonna change that. And mistakes are gonna happen. But you have got to learn how to take these mistakes and learn from the pain. Accept responsibility. Just move on. You can't keep beating yourself up. But do not let anyone make you feel like you don't have a purpose here in life. You are a gift from God. Who is that? Oh! Oh, got him. Head on your back. Got him. Spread your legs. Come on, don't man. move. Move. Hi, I'm Officer Washington. This is my partner. Is everything okay here? You know what? This is I didn't get to see my band. I didn't get to see no food. I didn't get to see Six Suit. What are you talking about, Steve? You've known it was South by Southwest this whole time, and you didn't tell me? Awesome. You know what? You. Death sign. I'm out.